Good morning, my dear students. It's a great time to have you on uh, our course, Reading 1. Uh, and we have today, uh, I mean, Reading 5 on page uh, 114. Uh, as usual, I have to deliver you two pieces of advice. The first one is related to your health. You have to stay at home to keep away from mixing with other people uh, because the proverb, the English proverb says uh, prevention is better than a cure. So keep away, I mean prevention, prevent disease is better than a cure disease. So you have uh, to stay at home, don't mix with other people, don't shake hands, don't draw near anyone so that you can keep yourselves happy, healthy, and comfortable. All right, my second piece of advice is related to your studies, your academic uh, affairs. Uh, you have to take uh, care of your studies. Try to study, study right from the beginning. Don't waste time uh, because time is precious. Time is invaluable. You cannot, for example, uh, restore time once it passed so you have to read uh, your lessons carefully and uh, do the exercises later on when you do your homework please write your na names on the file when you send me your files please write your full name at the top of your file inside and outside so that it could be easily graded and you don't cause difficulties or problems uh, to your teachers. So write uh, your names on the top of the file and uh, try to send your file uh, in, uh, I mean, your homework in a file which can be opened. Now let's uh, turn to uh, the paragraph or the passage. We have here. Uh, this passage is about salt, about salt. Uh, we have here, uh, fortunately, there are still a few tis tasty things for us governments to enjoy in relative security. Their numbers, however, are depleted almost daily. It seems by uh, ruthless proclamations from the ever vigilant good uh, food and drug administration FDA and uh, its allies our doctors the latest felon the latest criminal to face prosecution uh, is uh, the salt of life sodium chloride sodium chloride uh, ostensibly apparently seemingly overuse of salt causes high blood pressure and hypertension the cause of half the deaths in the united states every year a few years ago uh, we have here the, uh, the salt hair campaigners uh, raised such numbers that salt was banned from baby food. Currently, pressure is being applied to food manufacturers to oblige them to label their products to show sodium content, because doing so would cost uh, mercenary uh, manufacturers money. They uh, argue that they have no idea how much salt remains on such things as potato chips and how much sticks to the bag. Furthermore, salt isn't the only harmful ingredient in food. If a manufacturer has to provide sodium content, why not require him to list every ingredient and specify which are uh, detrimental to our health. Uh, cigarettes 
have a warning painted on them shouldn't uh, the same type of warning appear on uh, canned foods that are notoriously over you salted these are endless ifs and and buts uh, and for there are uh, endless ifs and buts in the controversy but the most telling of these is the questionable proof of salt's diabolic effect upon the full blood pressure a true people who use or cut their salt intake lowered uh, their uh, blood pressure but where is the proof where is the scientific proof that something other than salt didn't do the trick the most common uh, means of providing obvious proof that salt causes uh, hypertension is to compare societies that use little salt with uh, those that use mountains of salt in their uh, daily diets which group use little salt yes which group has the higher uh, the highest uh, rate of hypertension whose blood pressures uh, is lower what uh, happens when salt is introduced into a group where salt is an ability does the blood pressure arise here uh, significantly studies of the Japanese uh, indicate that as the lo uh, world's greatest salters they suffer uh, the most from hypertension on the contrary the simple salt free cuisine of uh, several tribes in the Solomon Islands has kept uh, kept older uh, tribesmen and women from developing hypertension and high blood pressure almost traditionally killing their peers in uh, America no account is taken of the effects of inflation uh, recession pollution crime and sundry uh, other else to which Americans unlike other people uh, on uh, primitive islands are subject to to salt or not to salt that's the question uh, now that uh, the question is raised now the question is raised here uh, yes it mustn't be treated with levity but rather with searching scientific in, uh, investigation uh, so that those of us who are preoccupied with uh, both uh, savory and uh, very savory food and longevity may decide which of the two is worth its salt right uh, we have read the message the message is quite long uh, you have to read it twice or three times to make certain that you have understood everything in it now we turn to the exercises exercise number a detailed combination uh, respond to the following according to the nature of the item number one the attitude of the author of the passage of this passage towards salt controversy is that a we must stop eating salt immediately b she is not convinced that salt is harmful c the food and drug administration works well with uh, doctors d uh, soon there won't be anything tasty left to eat so here attitude 
is of course uh, number uh, B. She is not convinced that salt is helpful. Number uh, two, the author's approach to the best topic is A, uh, angry, B, humorous, C, scientific, D, sympathetic. And the uh, approach is, of course, uh, humorous. Number three, presumably, a uh, government is A, a person, B, a theory, C, food, D, protest. Uh, here, government is a person. A is the answer. Number four, food manufacturers don't want to label uh, packages with sodium content uh, because A, uh, the, they the, uh, disagree with the FDA, B, salt uh, doesn't stick to potato chips, C, they would have to spend more money, D, it isn't important to single out salt. So the answer is C, it costs them a lot of money. Question number five, true or false? At present, baby food contains salt. False, it has been banned. Number six, con canned food goods should have the same type of warning as cigarette because A, both contain salt. B, the author uh, likes to smoke and salt and eat. Uh, C, the uh, cigarette warning reduces smoking. D, both are harmful to your health. D, both are harmful to your health. Number seven, a true or false? Co comparing societies is a scientific means of determining the danger uh, of salt uh, com consumption. Here, uh, of course, the author regards it as unscientific. Uh, number eight, according to the passage, the Japanese use a lot of salt, A, but they suffer from hypertension, and they suffer from hypertension. C, because they suffer from hypertension. D, when they suffer from hypertension. And of course, B, and they suffer from hypertension as a result of salt intake. Number nine, true or false? Or no information in uh, or information not given. People in scientists that, of course, never have uh, salt, never have high blood pressure. Of course, it's true. Number 10, the author, the author here, suggests that Americans suffer from hypertension as a result of yeah, too much salt, B, emotional stress, C, salt-free casein, D, ailments, of course, from here, uh, emotional, uh, we have here, um, yes, they suffer from um, hypertension as a result, not only of salt, of sundry, we have here, sundry, uh, either uh, else here, sundry, um, yes, sundry other uh, effects we have here. Um, and the answer must be here um, emotional, yes, uh, stress. Uh, exercise number uh, B, uh, vocabulary building. Here we have uh, find a word. So prefixes and suffixes. Uh, find a word in the reading that uses either the prefix or suffix given and write it on the first line. 
then try to think of another word with the same prefix or suffix. Make sure you understand the meaning of all of the words that you write. If not, uh, if you don't, of course, look them up in your dictionary. We have less, yes, ruthless. We have ERs like uh, manufacturers, anti salt campaign, harmful, overuse, uh, hypertension, X like excessive, uh, or you ask like uh, dangerous, yes, suspicious, yes, and you can, of course, write uh, another word from your own memory. Uh, synonyms choose the synonym for the underlined word. Number one, uh, the here, the barbarians' the treatment of their captives was ruthless. Ruthless means a rash, b without money, or without mercy, uh, c uh, rational, d liberal. Ruthless is b without mercy. Number two, the police hunted through the forest for the escaped felon. Felon means A, criminal, B, fellow, C, fugitive, D, hunter. Fellow means, uh, felon means here, A, criminal. Number three, uh, Liz is currently appearing on uh, broad, Broadway in uh, head show currently means a carefully b now c once d successfully currently means now number four he is so mercenary that he never stops working mercenary means a humane b temporary c mad for money d worthy mercenary means mad for money Number five, ostensibly he, he married for love, but it was really for money. Ostensibly means A, really, B, obviously, C, apparently, D, last year. Ostensibly means uh, apparently. Number six, do you think that coffee is really detrimental to your health? Detrimental means harmful. A, B, desperate, C, pro, uh, here, providential, D, determined, det, uh, determined, uh, determined, and uh, detrimental means here, number A, harmful to health. Number seven, the James brothers were notorious bank robbers. Notorious means A, popular. B. Infamous C. Famous D. Ambitious Literous means infamous or bad fame Right, number 8 The public is very dubious about uh, the governor plans for a tax cut Dubious means A. Debit B. Delightful C. Delirious D. Doubtful and the answer is doubtful. Number nine, every Friday night we eat at Lin Chow's because I am crazy about Chinese cuisine. Cuisine means A, three, a restaurant, uh, B, Chow Min, C, uh, cooking, D, customs. The answer is cooking. Number 10, uh, Adelson's need the approval of their peers. Their peers here, peers means A, principles, principles, B, parents, C, equals, D, seers. The answer is equals. Number 11, instead of being serious about the, his work, he treats it with liberty. Liberty, A, leverage, B, uh, light, Lightness, C, uh, here, concentration, D, 
carelessness and the answer is uh, carelessness now we have uh, vocabulary building vocabulary building uh, these are uh, common uh, idioms used for or uh, hinted on at the passage they are given below with their definitions study them then use the idioms uh, to complete uh, the sentences so we have uh, the first one uh, the salt of life refer referring reference to spice of life the flavor added to make life uh, more uh, exciting here number a b raise a rumbus create a, no a noisy of uh, disagreement c do the trick ac accomplish a certain result d here mountains of salt of something large quantity uh, e worth is uh, his or her salt worth is or her said i mean pay uh, try putting lemon juice on the stain to see if it will uh, do the trick number two variety is commonly considered as a salt of uh, life number three John has had yes here laundry to do for himself since his wife yes mountains of her yeah she went to see, uh, see visit her mother number four if an assistant is worth his pay or his salt he, he or she will make you your work easier for you number five the two gangs here make rumbus in the park every night now uh, we have come to the end of this uh, lesson if you have any questions please let me know i'll be glad to help you uh, thank you for the moment and goodbye see you in next, le next lecture